Hi, I'm Gavin Calver, and uh, I grew up in a Christian home and had great Christian parents and was very aware of the Christian faith. But if I'm honest, I wasn't that interested in it. My parents were Christian leaders. They felt a certain pressure to be a certain type of Christian. And I never doubted the existence of God. I just didn't really engage with church that much. Then I remember at the age of 14, I was banned from church for six months. That's a story for another day. But in that time, I then found myself not going to church, not engaged in any of that stuff. And I walked away from my faith. Um, I threw myself into football and other things. I chased other dreams. Then when I was 17, my mum and dad moved to the other side of the world. They moved to America to run an American charity that helped the poor and dying all over the world. And I found this really difficult. I found myself isolated. I felt alone. And during that time, I, I tried some of the things the world had to offer. And you know what? In the end, they all came back empty. So it was the day after my 18th birthday party. The party itself, again, is a story for another day. But the day after my 18th birthday party, I woke up and I really started to question what is going on with my life? Why am I ruining it so much? Why do I feel so empty? And you know, Jesus till this point had been like an auntie figure, someone I knew existed but didn't love hanging out with. And I just realised on that day, I woke up in this overwhelming sense. You're throwing your life away. You're not pursuing any kind of purpose. This Jesus who died for you that you know of, he's there and he wants relationship with you. And I went and sat on a park bench in Forest Hill and Mayo Park in South East London. And I sat on that bench the day after my 18th birthday party and I surrendered my life to Jesus. I said to Jesus, you know what? I'm yours. I've tried other stuff. It's come back empty. I want to follow you, live for you and serve you. I then said, I'll go work wherever, whatever and whenever for you. And you know what? It's been the greatest adventure since. It's not always been easy. It's often been hard. I've ended up living in parts of the country I didn't want to live in. I've ended up going into ministry myself, which I never would have chosen. But I have found that this adventure of following Jesus, he never promises it will be easy. He promises he'll always be with you. And since that day when I was 18 years old, some 22 years ago, I have not regretted once my decision to follow Jesus. I have fully surrendered my life to him. And I now give every waking moment and every breath and every ounce of energy I have I give it now to wanting other people to meet this Jesus for themselves to know life in all its fullness and to know what it is to have hope and to have a saviour and to have the enduring presence of Jesus alongside them so if you're watching this and you don't know Jesus check him out if you're watching this and you are a Christian be inspired to be even more infectious in your faith. Let's tell others of the hope we have. Because you know what? 22 years ago, I surrendered my life to Jesus and it has changed my very life. And I could not be more grateful to him for what he's done for me. But also for the fact that day by day, he continues with his greatest promise. His promise is this. He is with you.